Hi everyone, welcome to Mask Monday, ladies, with that hashtag thing. So anyway, I am going to try this peel off mask today. So wish me luck, everyone. This is the uh, Glam Glow. And it's the Gravity one. And I watched a few videos when I came home, because I left early tonight, I left at 5.30. Uh, of course, it's 9.30 now. But anyway, I watched a few videos, and they said that they all, that this always comes with a brush. I didn't get a brush, but maybe because it's just a little baby sample. And they said you're supposed to put it on really thick, and they said to use a brush. So I happened to get this free brush with something that I got from, uh, you know, Alta not too long ago. So, and avoid your eyes, your eyebrows, hairlines, things like that. So I'm going to try to do this in front of the camera, and well, in front of the webcam. And then if I just don't feel like I can get the angle or do it right because it's you can't see, then I'll, I'll shut this off. I'll go finish putting it on in the, uh, the bathroom in front of the big mirror, and then I'll come back and chit-chat. Okay? All right, so that was kind of hard. I thought I had, uh, you know, I'd started out here and started to put it on thick, but it wasn't thick at all. So I have no idea if I put it on thick enough, if it's going to work. But... We'll, we'll give it a shot, right? So anyway, to, I've already asked my friend Alexa to let me know when 20 minutes is up because I'm thinking I'm supposed to leave it on for about 20 minutes. And um, so I'm not, probably not going to stay on for the full 20 minutes, but I do have some empties for you. And I usually, um, you know, my empties kind of build up on me in the kitchen. And then the next thing you know, I, I'm in a cleaning mode and I throw them all out and I say, oh, I'll have new empties. So anyway, these ones I didn't throw out yet. So my first one is going to be my Isogenics. And uh, this is the uh, creamy French vanilla. And this is what I have every day for my uh, morning shake. It's my protein uh, drink. I just mix it with a little bit of water, um, a couple of ice cubes. I use about a cup and a half because if I'm just going to have this, then I just use a cup and some ice cubes, uh, two scoops of this. And I put in a tiny scoop of the uh, chocolate greens. And that just kind of gives me like the, uh, well, you know, the green stuff, you know. And it's, and it's really good. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood to have like a keto coffee with it, so I'll use like a cup and a half of water, and then I'll still use two scoops of this, and then I just use it, the packets of the keto is too strong for me, so I just use uh, one tablespoon of the keto mix, and then again the chocolate greens, and put it in my Nutri Blender, and it's a really nice thick protein shake, and that kind of fills me up. And um, does it tell me how many? Uh, it's 20, and this is 24 grams of protein, so that's a, a good start to the day. I had a hair mask, and I didn't even know I had a hair mask because uh, I didn't read it. And this is probably from one of the first Fab Fit Funds that I had. It's uh, from Hue or Way. Um, ACV, it's the apple cider vinegar hair mask, and I just thought it was a hair conditioner because at the time I got this, I never heard of a hair mask. So I used it off and on. I really didn't notice any difference. Um, of course, I just used it like a conditioner. I'd use, because I'm a Wen girl, so I would use my Wen hair products. And then every now and then I would just kind of put this in with the Wen. I let it, you know, stay in my hair for maybe another five minutes while I finish my shower and then rinse it out. Um, can't say I, I noticed a difference. I wouldn't buy it. Um, and then I've, I've used, you know, been using sheet masks, but these are the only two that I still happen to have that I didn't throw out yet. And this one, I think I got this in Ipsy. And this is the Super Beauty Tea Mask with the uh, the rose the rose scent. I, I love this. I love the scent. It's nice and soft and feminine. I just love it. And then I have these Bare Minerals, the uh, Green Tea Eye Mask. And I used these maybe last week, maybe the week before. And I've got a couple of these left and I, I did like them. And of course I had that silicone mask on, which kind of helped keep it in place a lot better than if when I just put a regular sheet mask over it. Alrighty, this uh, was also probably from one of my first uh, FabFitFun. And this is Spongel. It's, uh, or I, yeah, I think it was. It probably was, would have been FabFitFun. It was Spongel, the uh, hand cream. And a co coconut verbena. And it was nice. I had this by the bed and I would... I uh, use that um, sometimes you wake up and you just kind of feel like you're dry. You go to the bathroom, you wash your hands, and then you come back and you put it on. So it took a while to use it. Um, 
I didn't really notice that it made my hands any smoother. Um, the scent wasn't anything to rave about. If I got it again, I would use it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to, to buy one. This was also probably in one of my FabFitFuns, and I only got like five of them, so. And this is uh, another body lotion. And this one I, I kept in the shower, so I would use sometimes after a shower. It was the uh, Levito, inspired by nature. Didn't really notice any difference in, in this compared to like any other, um, like the Sever, what do I use now, the Cetaphil or something like that. But I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it again, but if I got it in a box, I would happily use it. And I finished a Scentsy Bath. And this is probably my least favorite one. This is the Winterberry Apple Tea. And I think I've got, I got one in, in a whiff box. And then a couple of weeks ago, I got another one in a whiff box. I, I, I really love the scent. Um, but the color of the water is what kind of turns me off. It starts off like a, like a really light, kind of like a muted purple, but not purple, kind of tan purple. And then I just feel like I'm sitting in dirty water. I love the scent. I just don't like the color of it. I mean, I would rather have it plain and no color than puffy water because I just feel like I'm sitting in dirty water. Isn't that weird? But I know it's not. And you know, this is sad because like I said, I, I threw away all my empties probably last weekend, but I saved this empty to share with you. This was my New Year's. My Moscato de Aste, and this was really, really good. I love this. It took me three days to finish it. Yeah, I know. I'm bad. Uh, but it was good. Yeah, I've got another one in my, my wine for Drada. I would definitely, yeah, I would buy this again. I love this. And that's it for my empties. Alexa, how much time do I have left on my timer? You have 13 minutes left on your 20 minute timer. And I've got 13 minutes left, so I am going to go um, do some running around, do some things, and then I will be back so that I don't uh, bore you for 13 more minutes. Alrighty, talk to, talk to you in a few minutes. Alrighty, so it's probably been about 40 minutes and I've been trying to kind of pick at it to see if I can get it started and I, I think I just I just didn't put it on thick enough. I mean, I thought I was putting it on thick, but maybe not. Well, maybe it's starting to go over here. It's not hurting, so that's a good thing, right? But I don't think I'm going to get it off in one nice peel. But, okay. I guess it is coming off. It does hurt coming off the nose, though. Very stretchy. Oh, I got like a mustache. I didn't even have any milk. That's so cool. Okay, so really not bad. Um, I guess it feels soft. It feels kind of sticky. I need another mirror to get all these little pieces off. Or a cloth or something. Actually, it came off pretty good. I was worried that I didn't have it on thick enough, but I think I just had to find that that right, that sweet spot to get my fingers under it. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I, I got my serums here to put on, and I got some moisturizer. So I think I'm just going to go wash these little tidbit things off or get them so I can peel them off, and then I'll, I'll be right back again. This is going to be all kind of piecemeal. Sorry about that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, I did get quite a, quite a, I think I got quite a good peel off this. It does smell nice too. It's kind of, it says it's marshmallow um, licorice and which hazel or something that's in it. It's, but it has, to me, it has a nice fruity smell. So lately when I've been finishing my mask, other than that, the green matcha tea, because this stuff really burned, and I forgot to show you this one. This was my tomato serum. Um, I think I got that in a boxy lux. So actually I had that to put in my empties because I just can't can't seem to get that little bit out. 
And then I got this one and I forgot what it was. And it's very oily, so I don't know if this is supposed to be a serum or not. Um, this is Melixer, and it's plant-derived squalene for glowing skin. So I've been using this for the past couple of days, but it's, it's very, very oily, and I, I just don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I think this said on the package that you could even put it in your hair, could use it on your skin. I just put a couple of drops. And it smells menthol-y. Like a fixed vapor rub or something. So I just used a little bit. Got my handy dandy roller. I dropped it and I could not find this anywhere. So you rub the serum in. But anyway, um it doesn't feel moisturizing, the peel-offs, and but maybe the peel-offs aren't supposed to be moisturizing. But I don't feel like it pulled anything out of my skin. Like I, I mean, it feels soft, I guess, and I guess it will get moisturized when you know I finish putting this on, and I think I forgot my moisturizer um, in the other room. But I think I'm probably going to let this sit in for a while because it is so oily. Um, and then my under eye cream as well. Rub some of this oil on my neck. But anyway, so that was uh, my Monday mask. Um, if you've used this Glam Glow, it's like I just uh, went online again just to see what the ingredients were. And it's kind of like 50-50. People either love it or they say it's useless, it's worthless, it doesn't do anything, it's a waste of money, and other people say it's the best they've ever had. So it's like really hard to tell. Um, some people said they could t tell that their skin was firmer. Um, I don't think I feel anything. I mean, it felt tight when as it was drying, but taking it off, I don't feel like anything's lifted or any better than it was, but maybe it if you were going to use it for that purpose, then maybe um, then you would just, you know, maybe need to do it for a couple of weeks before you make a decision. And I probably used, I probably got a good few more uses out of that. So maybe I'll use it again this week, uh, not on camera, just to see if there's a difference. See if maybe I, and I guess I put it on thick enough because it, it did come off pretty good. It was just a, you know, a few little areas, but. I think I'm supposed to be going up, not down. Um, so anyway, let me know if you've used that, uh, the Glam Glow and, and what you think about it. And um, I, I think from Rhonda, um, she said you're supposed to let this sit for about 20 minutes before you put your moisturizer on. So really let that serum kind of set in. And so anyway, I do have one empty. So, I, you know, it's a good feeling to get rid of the empties because you get these boxes and things just kind of build up on you. and you don't know what really works for you so you want to try them but you don't want to have something open because you've only used it for a month before you get another one and then i don't know it, it's just a nice feeling to get rid of them to, to use it and to know that you've used it every day but i don't use this one in the morning um i just feel like it's too oily and it would you know i i try to get out of the house between about 10 minutes to put my makeup on and get dressed. Um, so I just figured that's gonna to be too long. So I just kind of put some primer on my moisturizer and CC cream and pretty much out the door. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble. So I wanna thank everyone for joining this hashtag Monday morning mask ladies or whatever. I'll have it in the title. And um, you know, feel free to join us. It's uh, just a group of ladies. We're just trying to get some healthier skin and um, just kind of feel good about ourselves, have some me time, just uh, a lot of fun. So thanks everyone for joining me and we will chat again next Monday. Bye-bye.